Hi, this is the first tutorial to Scratch. Scratch is an interesting way of creating interactive stories, animations, and games. It has a lot of animating and drawing features, and it's relatively simple to learn. This is the homepage of Scratch. The first thing you need to do is either sign in or join Scratch in order to save your projects. So I'm going to sign in, but if you're new, then you'll have to click on Join Scratch. So there are different... Um, uh, there are different options. So you have create, explore, discuss, and about. Since we want to make a program, we're going to click on the create option. So this is our general layout. So it allows us to make different projects. It may seem overwhelming at first, but as we progress, you'll get used to it and it'll seem simple. So this is the main character, his name by default is Scratchy. In Scratch and other programming languages, it is called a sprite, as it says below. So Scratchy is sprite 1. He'll be our character in our animation or whatever project we are trying to make. Don't worry though, later if you want, you may delete him and select a different character. We'll learn how to do this in the next video. We can control him with the code. The code will basically control all of his actions. So, um, there are numerous options. The first one is motion. This features all the code that will be required for his movements. The second is looks, right? So this, um, it helps in the appearance of project. It has the code that can change the background, the sprite's costume, control, um, whether or not the sprite should be hidden, etc. Then comes the sound option. You can use these blocks of code to add and control the sound effects. Next, we have the events. This controls the code and tells it when to begin. The control option includes conditional statements like if and else, and some code blocks also control the time limit for the rest of the code. Sensing is generally used for audience interaction, which is essential while designing a game. It is used for sensing certain colors as well. And here are um, the math opera operators. The variable option also uh, allows you to create variables which can be used for things like counting the score. We'll learn more about these later. Our first project is going to be an animation. We are going to add more sprites, put each in a corner, and move him towards each one. And then when he moves to each, they will make a sound. The first thing that we're going to do is change the backdrop. In order to do this, we're going to move our mouse on this little backdrop icon over here. So you can choose one, paint it, or upload one from your computer, or let Scratch surprise you. We're just going to click on the magnifying glass. Um, once you've done that, you'll see a variety of uh, backdrop options that you can select for. So for now, we're just going to scroll down to the bottom and select the XY grid. The reason behind this is that Scratch uses coordinates for motion. So if you want your sprite to move to a particular part of the screen, you have to tell the computer the co coordinates of its new position. Currently, our sprite is at zero, zero, which is center point. Now we are going to add three sprites. To do this, simply move your mouse to this cat icon. Just like the backdrop icon, you can allow Scratch to surprise you, or you can... Um, uh, upload, paint, or select an existing sprite. We are going to click on the magnifying glass. This will um, allow us to choose a sprite from scratch itself. Again, you can see a variety of sprites here. Let's choose dog2. So, Since we want the sprites in different corners, let's move the dog to the top left corner. It looks a bit large, don't you think? So let's make it smaller. So change its size by clicking on the bubble next to where it says size. It is automatically, automatically set to 100, so we're just going to change this to 70. Now we're going to do the same thing for three more sprites. So let's click on the sprite uh, option. Let's choose a horse. Yeah, and let's move it to the bottom left corner. So change its size to 70. So this is kind of like 70% of its size, essentially. All right, all right. So now let's go back to sprites, select the duck, and we're just going to um, put him um, in the bottom right corner. 
Okay, again, um, he seems rather large, so let's just reduce his size a bit. Um, I'm thinking let's just change him to 80. Okay, and then let's now select the frog. Um, here we're going to actually be placing him in the top right corner. So, um, just about here. Yeah, he seems a bit small, so let's increase the size and make it, um, let's say, about 110. Okay, so each sprite will actually have their own code. So we are actually going to start by coding Scratchy. And to do this, you just have to click on Sprite 1. So click on Events and Jack, the one green flag clicked code here. The green, green flag tells the program when to start. So this basically means that when the game be begins, start the following code. So the first thing we want Scratchy to do is move to the dog. To do this, we're going to move Scratchy close to the dog, which is basically the position we want him to be at when he's talking to the dog. So let's move him over here and look at his coordinates, which are mentioned here. So his X coordinate is this, and his Y coordinate is, yeah, that. Now click on motion and drag this code under the one green flag is click code. The two blocks will connect. This sets a process for the code. So the code will start from the first block and then progress down. So remember to put the code in order. Coming back, as you may have noticed, the coordinates um, are already set. Generally, the motion, detect, the motion box detects the sprite's current coordinates and change them accordingly, which is simpler for us. Now we're going to make Scratchy say something. So click on looks and drag the say hello for two seconds code. We're going to change the dialog a bit, so click on the bubble with hello and delete it. Type hello dog. Let's leave the time limit as it is. This way Scratchy will say the dialog for two seconds. Next, let's make him move to the frog. So we're going to move him to find out the coordinates like we did before. Since his, uh, since his coordinates will automatically change the motion box, all we have to do now is select the go to x coordinate, y coordinate block, and drag it and add it to our code. Let's go back to the looks and add the dialog for the frog. So let's drag the save block and change the dialog from hello to hello frog. Right, so now let's do the same thing with the duck and the horse. Okay, so I'm just going to move him here. Um, yeah. Just type hello duck. And again, we're just going to leave the time limit as it is. Then move him to the horse. This is one of the simplest um, codes, one of the simplest programs, actually. Okay, now let's click on the green flag and see how it runs. Okay, now it works well, but I don't really like the way Scratchy moves so quickly from one position to the other. So let's make it seem as though he's walking. To do this, we're going to um, we're going to change the go to code, and um, actually we're going to be switching it with the with the um, glide code. So let me just do that. This just um, makes it a bit smoother. You can always use the go to code, but this just makes it a bit smoother. I just like it this way. Okay, yeah, so let's just move this here and put the code and change the x and y values. Yeah, we're just going to delete that first though. Yeah, let's just um, do this for all of the codes. Um, just okay, you can keep following and just do the same thing. Remember to enter the correct x and y values, that's very important. Okay, um, now let us just try um, probably like 
running it again. Yeah, so um Yeah, now that we have it, we just run it. There we go. Okay. Um yeah, it looks much smoother now. Um, this is pretty nice, right? Um, although, uh, another thing that we could improve is scratchy start and end position. So, actually, I want him to start from the center. So, as you can see, what I'm doing is um, I'm actually putting the uh, go to zero zero code. So, essentially, what this is going to do, um, and I'm putting this um, in uh, in the beginning and the end. So, basically, what this is going to do, it's go it's going to ensure that Scratchy's first and last position is the center, which is zero zero, which is also the origin, right? Um, and the reason we don't put the glide to code at the beginning is that we don't want Scratchy to slowly go from his last position to the center, right? We want him to start at the position. Um, so really this may be a bit um, overwhelming at first, but with practice you'll understand better. Um, okay, so I've just gone and I've named this um, project one um, and, I've, and I've saved it, okay? Um, yeah, so that's it for uh, this video. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to deal with costumes and backdrops, and we're just going to be making um, the program even better. Okay, bye.